BigQuery EL versus ETL versus ELT. You'll notice that in each of these three terms, EL, ETL, and ELT, the letters E, L, and T are just being shifted around. So the first part to understanding the terms is understanding what the letters mean, and then we can move from there. The first letter E stands for extract. Here we are extracting data from its original source. This data is brought in from a number of sources and is in both structured and unstructured conditions. The objective here is simply to bring all the relevant data into a single repository. Data can be extracted from CRM systems, mobile apps, marketing and sales applications, analytics tools, and even other data warehouses, to name a few. Let's talk about the T now. T stands for transform. Here the data is being transformed by deduplicating it, combining it, and ensuring the quality and accessibility of that data. Transformation involves multiple processes such as cleansing, standardization, deduplication, verification, sorting, and other specified tasks that will improve the quality of the data. The transformation of the data is typically the most crucial part of the process. Lastly, we have L. L stands for load. The job here is simply to load the data into the target database that we need it to be in. This can either be done all at once in one full load or at scheduled intervals via incremental loads. Looking at it architecturally, EL is used to extract data from files on the Google Cloud Storage and then load it into BigQuery's native storage. You can trigger this from Cloud Composer, Cloud Functions, or scheduled queries. You would use extract load for when you have to make a batch load of historical data or scheduled periodic loads of log files, for example, once a day. Now let's look at an architectural overview of ETL. First, you extract data from PubSub, Google Cloud Storage, Cloud Spanner, Cloud SQL, so on and so forth, and then you transform that data using Cloud Dataflow. Then you have Dataflow pipelines right to BigQuery. You would use ETL systems when the following conditions. When the raw data needs to be quality controlled, transformed, or enriched before loaded into BigQuery, or when the data loading needs to happen continuously, for example, if the use case requires streaming, or when you want to integrate with continuous integration and continuous delivery systems and perform unit testing on all components. Last on our list is Extract, Load, and Transform, or ELT systems. Let's take an architectural look at these now. You extract data from files in Google Cloud Storage, then you store that data in close to raw format in BigQuery. You transform the data on the fly using BigQuery views. Experimental datasets where you are not yet sure what kinds of transformations are needed to make the data usable are situations where you could use ELT systems or any production dataset where the transformation can be expressed in SQL.